You know, when I was, I don't know, about eight or nine, I had a paper out. And one fateful day, I was um, delivering a paper to this house that I'd always heard the big scary dog. But this day, as I approached the house, I noticed that something was different. The front door was open and it had never, ever been open before. Well, this big scary dog plummeted out of that screen door and chased me down and used me as a chew toy in a couple uh, sensitive areas. I got my my left butt and my left butt cheek and my thigh. And that's only the physical damage that was done by that day. There's no way to describe to you because there was no measure of the emotional trauma. Yet I know that there was one because whenever I would see another dog, I would shut down and I would clam up and I just, there was something odd that would happen. I would stay in that situation despite the discomfort I felt. And this repeated in life, not obviously with dogs, but with humans. I avoided using my instincts growing up. I stayed in situations far longer than I should have. And I got into a lot of trouble that way. My instincts were serving me well, but I wasn't serving them well. And then they stopped working. And I repeated the patterns of my past. I no longer had that still small voice directing me this direction that direction, towards this person, away from that person. I felt like I was flying solo. I was surrounded in fear because now, without that still small voice, I felt alone in the world. And now I know that it wasn't that that still small voice disappeared. Rather, I had turned it off. I had ignored it, and God, He knows what's best for us. He knows that to keep ignoring that voice will harm us, and He doesn't want that. So He'll turn it off for our benefit, so that when we hear it again, it will be a booming voice, no longer a quiet, still voice, but one that we recognize from old times, one that has directed us back to our Creator, our Maker. And this is what I want to share with you today. So in that still, small voice, When that still small voice returned, I recognized it like an old friend, one that I had mistreated and had lost at my own fault. There are many youth explanations of why I did, yet, um, None that can actually cover and excuse it. That's the difference between now and, I suppose, before the seizure started and earlier than that. Actually, let's face it, I lived in a state of explanation for why I wasn't living in a way that I felt in my heart I should be. And everything pointed to something that happened to me. You know, a situation with the dog really 
stood out to me today. God put that on my heart. And I know why. I know that somebody is out there, many people actually, who feel alone. They don't see any light at the end of their tunnel. They have what's been diagnosed as PNES or NEAD or non-epileptic seizures. There's a variety of labels, yet none of them really get it right because that's not the person. The truth of it is that we're in pain. We're in tremendous pain. Something happens and that left a hole. And no matter what caused that hole, there's an unworthiness that's been left in its place. And we've tried many different ways. It's a good moment to pause. It's a good time to look up for you too. We've tried many different ways to numb that pain. Alcohol, drugs, uh, other substances, people, places, consumerism. There's no end to the ways that this hole in our heart, well, that we haven't tried to fix it. And the truth is we can't fix it. We must acknowledge what it is. It's not a label. It's not letters. And it is curable. It's pain. And I tell you this, if you had a broken leg, this is an analogy. If you had a broken leg, immediately, it will start healing. That's nature. Nature will take its course and it will start healing. If it's not set right and prepared to heal straight, it will have healed, but it will not be recovered. Well, that's the same way with our hearts. After each heartbreak, immediately, your heart will start to heal. But if it's not in the right hands, if we don't put ourselves in God's hands, that healing, well, it will be all jaded and have bitterness wrapped up and our heart will never look the same. But when you're ready, God will take that broken heart and he'll fix it. It might not be in the way that you think it should be. You may lose more before you gain. And it may not make sense, but that's faith. And if you haven't been able to do this on your own, what are you waiting for? Look up, cry out. This is a God who cares. And I tell you this because I know. I've been seizure free for almost two and a half years. I have had one incident in that two and a half years, but that was at a, um, as a consequence of my choice to do something that I knew wasn't pleasing to God. That was against God's will. So old me basically resurfaced and I was trying to run the show. But seizure-free living is possible. It's more than possible. I'm living it. And he told me that he had a plan not to be afraid. It wasn't because it was just for me. 
that he was going to walk me through this and heal my heart and it was just going to be for my benefit alone. I've come to learn that, well, he loves us all. And people who are out there watching who've been hurt by churches, by people who said they knew God, well, I'm here to tell you, they didn't know God. Because if they did, they couldn't have done what they did. If they had God in them, it would have been near impossible. If you don't see God as a loving, caring, kind creator in another human being, I would steer clear of them, to be honest. That's what I've learned. And if you don't see God in me, please don't follow me. If you ever see my life taking turns that don't glorify God, turn and walk and go the other way. Because I'm not worthy to be followed unless I'm following Him. Unless I'm following Jesus, my Savior. Now at this point, I'm actually almost out of battery in my camera, but I had this burning desire to share this with you. I watched a movie today called 90 Minutes in Heaven, and to be honest, it changed my life. Not because um, I know what this person's gone through, this exact situation and I encourage you to watch the movie it's my story yet a different circumstance but it's exactly how God has used PNES to help other people to give people hope it's not for me and it certainly is not about me because if my videos from here on out, don't glorify God and give praise to Him and give all credit to Him. I know He won't bless me to help other people. And that is the, the song He's put in my heart, to help others. You're not alone. You are so not alone. And if you need evidence, that there is a cure for PMES, I'm here. Hope is alive. It's alive and well. He's walked me through. He didn't rescue me from it, per se. He rescued me from myself. And he let me know that it was okay. That there was forgiveness. And that he did not and will not turn his back. So please, take it for what it's worth. I hope it touches your heart. I hope he has touched your heart. I want to share my story more. And share elements that I've been reluctant to share in the past. Specifically, of um, his visiting me in the middle of a seizure, surrounding me in his light, and very audibly telling me, do not be afraid, I have a plan, and that he would never leave me. I have to share this with you. touched my heart so deeply to hear so many people being brave enough to share their encounters with God that it took away my fear and that's all I want every way to live fear-free 
And I know that's only possible if I'm walking with God and I'm doing as he commands. He says in the Bible over 360 times, do not be afraid or do not fear. I am with you. Take hope. If you're watching this, know there's reason to have faith. There's reason to believe that there's a life beyond PNES. I'm a walking example, and he's made me that. And he'll make that for you too. You just have to take a step of faith and courage. And if there's one thing I know about people with PNES, they have lived a life of courage overcome by fear but there's the fierceness within them that I have not seen in the average person so don't doubt and he will always give us what we need in every circumstance if we come to him and that's it I pray that God blesses you today whatever day it is that he brings you to this video.